During these challenging times, staying informed is vital. Tonight, KV's Bob Buckaloo shows us how a group of young people are making sure they get the news they need. Good morning, Cedar Park. It's Thursday, April 9th, and I'm Ellen Young. And I'm Evan Vines. We hope you're staying home and safe. We've got a packed show today we can't wait to share. It's not on your TV channel lineup, but for students at Cedar Park High School, their teachers and parents, it's a newscast not to be missed. Welcome to WolfCast. During normal times, a daily newscast with school announcements produced by Cedar Park High School journalism students. But during this time of the coronavirus outbreak, when kids and teachers are stuck at home, it's a vital lifeline. The newscasts are seen on social media, and they're now done from students' homes. That's a difficult task for kids already taking their daily classes online. News anchor Ella Neal. You can't let yourself get distracted by being at home. You know, you can't let, you know, the fear of what's going on outside get in your way. You just got to sit down and do it, and then it's done. It's important that you're getting yourselves back into routines and waking up. And on a recent program, students heard from their principal. They watched stories about staying healthy. And they learned of an important change in school grading policy. Also, all grades for all courses will now be a pass or an incomplete. But there's a greater purpose here, too. Executive producer Ariana Lipkin. I think putting things out for the community is a really awesome thing that we're doing when everyone's separate, but it feels really like together. Thank you for tuning in today and sticking with us, even in these- Best way to catch Wolfcast is on the school's YouTube channel. With CBHS News, I'm Ellen Yale. And I'm Evan Vines. Remember to make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Have a phenomenal day, Cedar Park. Bob Buckaloo, KVU News. How impressive that they've managed to pull that together. Just amazing.